Dr. Tammy and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a really fun and beautiful pumpkin flower arrangement for the holidays. So what I have here is an Oasis flower foam. Now whenever I'm doing a special flower arrangement where I'm not using a vase, I use a flower foam to keep the flowers in and also to give my flowers water. So a lot of professional florists use this and it's actually really easy to use. All I did was here I have a big bowl of water and I just started to put my flower foam, I just dropped it in there and now you're going to be tempted to push it in but please don't do that just put your flower foam on top of the water and let it go down and soak by itself when it's all the way soaking through then you'll know it's ready so my flower foam has completely soaked in water and as you see here i'm using a fake pumpkin and the reason why i chose a fake pumpkin is because i wanted a white pumpkin i think this color is beautiful now you can use a real pumpkin you can use an orange pumpkin any color you want you can go fun with this but another way that i want to show you is a much easier way to do this i have seen many videos out there with uh, a lot of florists, they get a real pumpkin, they cut it, they gut it out, it's a lot of work. So I want to make this easy for you. So what I'm going to do here now is, do you see your pumpkin has to have a little knob or you know a long stem. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my oasis flower, now you see it's completely soaked in water, and I'm going to push it through the stem. See here, my floral foam is on top of the pumpkin and now I'm going to start arranging my flowers. This is the fun part. So I've got some pretty orangish, yellow, red, fall color flowers. You can use any colors you want. But of course my golden rule is always start with your fillers first. So I'm going to kind of go around and start with my fillers and start putting in places and kind of starting to create the shape of the arrangement that I want to make. And for this arrangement, I'm going to like to use a bit more height. So I'm going to start putting these in. I think this will look good here. Now I have my scissors here. And if anything is too long, you can always cut it. laid out the shape of how I want my floor arrangement to go so I kind of want this more outer um, flower arrangement and what I'm going to start doing now is start putting in the rest of my fillers and I really love the color of these flowers it just reminds me of fall so I'm just going to start filling in all the empty spaces and then we'll move on to the bigger flowers. love these yellow I think it's gonna make the orange pop so I'm gonna start putting these in and I'm just gonna cut the stem just a little bit because I'm depending on where you want to stick it but I think I'm gonna put the first one right over here see everything is starting to come together now when you are making a flower arrangement you have to be patient it's going to take some time for everything to fill in and come together so now I'm going to start putting in my red roses and the cool thing about using flower foam is you can kind of put your flowers at an angle which is really nice I'm going to cut my stem a little bit and I think I'm going to put this one more towards this way. So at this point of the arrangement, I decided that I need a little bit more white and green colors in there. So I have some white roses and also I have these beautiful flowers here that has that green that I want. And also these complement the roses really well. So I'm going to start putting in more of my white roses in here. So as you can 
can see, this is my end result for my pumpkin flower arrangement. I think this would be a gorgeous centerpiece for your Thanksgiving dinner or just a nice fall arrangement to have in your home during the holidays. So as you saw, it was really easy and you don't have to gut any pumpkin to make this flower arrangement. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video and I'll catch you guys next time.